people getting in touch regarding this particular story regarding His Majesty the King on his recent visit to Germany. As ever though, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Hope you're all keeping well, fine and dandy today. Yeah, this particular headline confused quite a few people around the world because, as we now know, uh, the King and the Queen, Queen Camilla, are on their very first official state visit to Germany. Going down incredibly well so far. Seemingly very popular. Obviously, meeting relatives, shall we say. But what's interesting here is that King Charles got up at a very special dinner and basically made a very, very clever and wise move during his very first speech in German, no less. This is because this particular element of the speech is so well loved over in Germany. But for those outside of Germany, perhaps you're not quite aware of it. It has a very strong English comedy connection. As ever, let me explain. You see, the King was addressing, as I say, at the very first official state dinner on his official state visit to Germany. He made a remark about thanking the crowd, you know, the hosts, uh, for inviting him not just for a simple dinner for one. Dinner for one, let me tell you, is a very famous sketch by an English comedian called Freddie Frinton. He was born in Lincolnshire, Grimsby, and really, you know, is an underrated master of comedy. Sadly, we lost him all too soon. Over here in the United Kingdom, people might remember him from a big hit 60s sitcom alongside Thora Heard called Meet the Wife. He had a very distinctive look, you know, the gap tooth, very similar to Terry Thomas. But it was this particular sketch, Dinner for One, that he first performed in the late 40s and 50s that really catapulted him to fame. He took off over in Germany so much that every New Year's Eve, they basically run the sketch. They find this absolutely hilarious. It's about a butler with an elderly aristocrat and she invites these people for dinner four of them but obviously there's no one there he has to go along with it because she doesn't realize there's nobody there she's too elderly each time he has a sip of the drink he gets slightly more and more inebriated as one can imagine very funny sketch indeed let me tell you though as i say freddie himself great comedy character and he was very shrewd because in the 1950s when he was performing this particular sketch at the grand theater in black no less he decided once and for all to buy the sketch because every time he performed it he had to pay out royalties so he figured well why not buy it then that wouldn't be a problem in 1963 the german channel zdf decided that they would like him to record a brand new version of which he did this is the one that's shown every single year as i say on new year's eve it made freddie very rich indeed as one can imagine and allegedly so to this day in royalties and that's the reason why his majesty the king very shrewdly mentioned this particular sketch but not only that we are told that both he and camilla often watch it and find it absolutely hilarious now if you haven't seen it do look it up for free on youtube and tell me do you find this funny because truly it really is one of the comedy's golden moments, up there with the likes of Harold Lloyd, Laurel and Hardy, Norman Evans, and so many more. If you haven't had dinner for one yet, do what Prince Charles has done. Serve yourself a good helping of great fun comedy gold. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.